So I thought I'd take a little time and show you uh, one of my many side projects that I have going on. Uh, up here, this is my, my back patio. Alright, this is my pergola. And up on the fence here, I've got up uh, two Jeep grills. And uh, these are just a couple I picked up at the junkyard. I don't actually own a YJ or a DJ. But uh, they make nice wall pieces and they were pretty cheap at a junkyard. Um, that being said, I've spent more trying to get all these lights hooked up and working. So let me show you what I've been doing. Uh, I picked this up. This is from a 95 YJ. A little lopsided now. My hanging screw on the left there kind of rotated a little bit. Uh, see, I got this. It was relatively cheap from the junkyard. They only charged me for a grill instead of a header panel. So I think it was only like 25 bucks or something. And uh, it's in pretty good shape. I've um, seen a few YJs over the years and never felt like grabbing a grill or bothering with it or sometimes they're too mangled that you you know don't even want them but uh, I don't know price worked out to be right and I got it uh, it had the amber lights still in it um, but somebody had taken all the all the headlight stuff so uh, you know they took the the ring the headlight bucket the headlight everything but at least had still had the amber light so what I've done so far is uh, I cut off the wiring harness that came with it and you can see I'm still kind of using that. And basically, this is where I'm at right now with it. it lights up when I hook it up to 12 volts. And uh, just kind of sits up there and looks pretty. What I've done is uh, I first put this up. I had uh, some incandescence in here. And it was pulling about 13 amps between the low beams and the minor filament of the turn signal. These uh, turn signal bulbs are dual filament, one for bright and low. So this would be your kind of uh, running lights, parking lights. And then uh, the brighter filament would be your turn signal that would flash on. So this is that dual filament bulb you can see there. All right, so I'm using the lower, the dimmer of those that should have uh, a little less current draw. And that was pulling 13 amps, which is a lot. Um, and if I'm running off a battery, it doesn't run too long. If I want to get a 120 AC to 12 volt DC adapter, that's a lot uh, of amps to have to pull off of it. So I switched them to LEDs. So this bulb, which is down in that turn signal, is uh, now an LED. And it's definitely pulling less amps. So I checked just the individual bulb on the minor filament of this old one. I was pulling about an amp. The minor filament of these new little bulbs is pulling about 0.1 amps. So the current draws a lot lower. So that's good. That could sit way down. Now up here, what I've done with these is this is uh, an H4 housing. These are like the cheapest ones I could find. And they were cheap. Um, this is an H4 housing. If you can see, there's a little spot down there. It actually had a T10 kind of running light bulb and my original thought is I was going to use that to kind of make this glow but uh, the included T10 bulb and socket was just so horrible I couldn't even make it work and just basically fell apart and uh, it did come with a high and a low beam which you're like oh great but they were horrible and they off gassed and they clouded up these headlight um, housings really quickly and it was like foggy inside and I had to get paper towel and Windex and clean them all out and uh, so I got them cleaned up and they look decent again. A little bit of lint inside now. Well, what I ended up doing, I do have a bulb back in there. I had some, uh, oh, I guess some H2s. H, no, not, not H4s, H2s that were left over from a different project that I didn't like the light output of. And what I did is I kind of shoehorned them in here. So they're fairly, they're fairly dim LEDs. So they're not totally, totally blinding. It's a little worse at night, but you know, here in the daytime, I'm not just blinded by them. Um, and they make the uh, the headlight glow pretty good. So I kind of shoehorned in an H2 and got it to sit there and instead of the H4 that it was meant to work with. And I've done that on both sides. And you can see right now I'm just running it off of battery. So with that set up, with kind of low beams on, and the minor bulb of the turn signal. All these things together, and I'm still drawing less than an amp of power. 
So that's pretty good. That's not a whole lot. I mean, your cell phone charges off of an amp. Well, an amp at 5 volts, not 12, but still. So that's doing pretty good. So I'm about, about done with this one. I'll, I'll do a more permanent wiring setup later. And I'll get something better to hang it, because as you can see, it's not something level anymore. Now, over here on the DJ, uh, I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to try to get a uh, kind of a, an H4 housing style thing to go here and replace these lights. And uh, because this is a DJ, you'll notice physically it's the same outer size as an old CJ7 grill. But uh, it doesn't have the nice turn signal lights down here. And if you'll notice, it's also only a five slot grill. So we're missing a couple of slots. You know, CJ's, they were kind of shoved in here and then that last slot kind of curved around the headlight a little bit. So it's a little bit of a, of a bastard of the Jeep world. It also kind of sticks out a little funkier. See that? It's like it sticks forward instead of kind of being flush with the hood. But uh, I don't know, it's different, it's unique. It looks like an old Jeep. Um, and uh, I'll get some, some other, you know, headlight housing bulbs like these guys and put it in here, which is kind of a shame because these headlights, these old round sealed beams, while not being very good headlights in terms of light output, they look cool, you know, these big round lights. And this one's really, really old. If you can look at that, this one says General Electric Sealed Beam. I, I haven't seen any headlights labeled like that in a long time, so that's pretty old glass. It's kind of worth keeping around for uniqueness like that. Uh, this one's been replaced. If you'll see, Westinghouse. I don't know when I've ever seen a Westinghouse automotive bowl. Uh, and those are all glass, so I can't like drill into the backside easily and you know shove in a, a little bulb like this just to kind of make things light up. But uh, I'll look around. I'll find some other housings, um, and I'll do something similar like I've done with the YJ grill. And my hope is that once I get these kind of wired up and the wiring cleaned up a little bit, that I'll get a 12 volt transformer and off of the string lights here, I'll plug it into the end of the string lights and I'll just have this stuff come on anytime the string light comes on. So anyways, that's, that's that for now, a little bit kind of in progress, but uh, slowly getting there. It'll be, it'll be cool when it's all done. So I'll post an update when I get some more stuff figured out for this. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.